Hello. Today we're going to talk about a vision and purpose for forming the Snohomish High School Alumni Association with a mission to promote and improve our connections with each other and our school. Certainly something that we all share is our roots in Snohomish. Growing up here, living here, going to school here, and being human, sharing and connecting with each other gives us purpose and meaning and improves the quality of our lives. And to the extent that that sharing and connection with each other also includes our high school, the students there, the staff, administration, uh, that improves our school. And improving our school increases the opportunities that our children have and our nephews and nieces and grandchildren and all of those young people who go to Snohomish High School today or we'll go to it tomorrow and in the future. And that in turn improves the quality of our community and feeds back on itself. And this mission depends on some key goals. Certainly uh, foremost among them would be the only authorized representative being authorized by this superintendent of schools in Snohomish School District and the staff that they designate to lays with the Alumni Association to represent the interests of the school district and certainly also authorized by the Snohomish High School principal and key staff and administrators and teachers there at the high school who see the Alumni Association as authorized by them to represent Snohomish High School and then ultimately by you. The alums are really the only entity that lend true legitimacy to the Alumni Association to the extent that you feel it's a trusted source of information, that it represents all of you, all classes, equally and fairly and provides value to you, to the extent that you think that, then you authorize the Snowmobile Alumni Association as the only authorized representative of yourself. And lacking that, we have many self-authorized entities. We're going to look at those in a second. To the extent that the Alumni Association meets the communication needs of all of our generations and very importantly embraces each new graduating class learning and adapting to how they communicate and ultimately as an organization the Alumni Association knows and provides value through our changing world as things change around us that uh, adapts to that and, and learns how to continue to provide that value that will be the enduring statement that the association makes. So taking a look at self-authorized alumni associations, if you do a search here on the web, which I've done, I'm just going to show a couple of things, but many, many show up. These are basically all for-profit websites. SnowishAlumni.com here in the top, Classmates.com here in the bottom. Their ultimate goal is to provide sufficient value to you that you will pay for a monthly membership. These are not alumni associations. These are for-profit entities. They, they serve their own interest to earn money. To the extent that aligns with your interest, if you see value and you're a member, then that's great. But let's just be clear, this is not an alumni association. These are for profit entities. Now, on that search in the previous page at the bottom, there is one place that doesn't look for your money, that just wants to provide you information, and that's this page from the Snowish High School website. It has some, um, you know, information about reunions and such stuff that people send in gets put up here. So clearly this only does not have a vested interest in, in your pocket. Um, and then we're going to take a look at just a few other places that have information that and are gathering places that Lums Snow Panthers have found a value. And there's uh, many different classes have class Facebook pages. And here's a Facebook page for all classes, the Snow High School alumni Facebook page. 2,800 Facebookers who have liked this page. It's a pretty interesting page. If you don't know about it and you are a Facebooker, you ought to take a look. Is it just post so probably once or twice a day? Um, it's very interesting. I found it very interesting. I'm, I'm a member. I like it. Uh, the Snow School District has a website where they publish information about local stories and on the web. Like here's one that they did about Cinderella. That performance that just uh, concluded and here's one they have about uh, FBLA, the st students that went to nationals, those were among the a couple links at the top. Um, here's a district tweet page that they have, where this, this first tweet that the school district 
has was pointing to their Facebook page where they have an article about the roundabout being built this summer at Top Avenue D. Um, here's a listserv they have where they have uh, newsletters, and you can get them in your email, or you can come to this listserv. All of the schools across the district have a newsletter. They publish once a week or daily or however often the school publishes it. And you all probably remember the Arrowhead. You know, so they have a website, of course. They don't actually publish a physical newspaper anymore. It's a website. So certainly a mission of the Alumni Association to promote the connections that we have amongst each other and improve them. It would begin with a website, and certainly that website would be a guide to all of the news and information and gatherings that are out there on the web today, such as a few that we just looked at. But ultimately, the value that the website provides would be those original stories from you, a place for the many, many, many of you out there that are doing things, having experiences, creating things, building things that you want to share. And, some, and certainly you are sharing in various ways in smaller groups. The Snohomish High School Alumni Association would be a place where you could share those stories and experiences and gatherings with all the alums. And to the extent that all alums found this to be an, a place where there was constantly new things to see, Every day, something new, every week, something new, uh, they would come back and look. Uh, even if they were already finding these things elsewhere, they would come back and look because the, many of those original stories would only be here on this website. And that would certainly be the source of a biannual, perhaps, newsletter that would be mailed. There are quite a lot of you, especially in the older classes from the 40s and 50s, that does, just don't do the web. You would need to get a, a mailed newsletter. and. That does come with a cost, whereas it would be very important for the website itself to be free and everything on it to be free, not to have the for-profit website entity model where there's a little bit of teaser stuff for free, but really the, you know, what they want you to do is give them money every month. That's not this. This has got to be free, all of it free, except for the newsletter. That costs a little bit of money to send. So that would need to be borne by those that needed to get a newsletter. That would be maybe a few dollars a year, maybe five or ten dollars a year to get a newsletter printed and mailed to all of those that wanted it. And that would not be borne by the rest of the alums that are content with the website itself. And then turning to for sources of revenue would certainly start with donations that, that people would send in. There's around 20,000 alums, living alums of, Pan of Snowmatch High School, Panthers, that some of which would care to support this website and support the Alumni Association because it was doing something important in their mind that's so important that they want to support it. If only 1% of you thought so and you gave $5 a year, it's $10,000 a year. 20,000 of you, 1%, $2,000, $5, $10,000 a year. That would go a long way it's towards funding the website's ongoing production of this news and information and value. And another source of revenue would be our local businesses and the website and the would certainly promote that and 20,000 alums provide a lot of purchasing power and many businesses see the value of that. In fact, many of the business owners in our community are Panthers themselves or their children and grandchildren are, or their nephews and nieces or their friends. So they understand how wonderful Snohomish High School is, is in our community, how important it is that it provides fantastic opportunities for our students. How important our alums are in this community and making this community vital. We would certainly in a website promote those businesses and reach out to those for businesses. Maybe they would sponsor us. Maybe they would provide discounts. That would be valuable to them and to the alumni association. So the website roles and responsibilities begin with that thought leader and driver, the president and the vice president, like-minded individuals who are those passionate leaders that believe that this is important to do and make sure that it happens. This would be like a publisher or the executive editor perhaps, but the president and vice president is really also that thought leader for the alumni association itself, which the website is the beginning of, but is not all of, there's more to it than that. So this is that, that passionate leader and visionary thinker. And we have our editor who exercises editorial control over the website. It is the 
key decision maker regarding what stories need to be published and guided that they have um, communicated with throughout the community and area. You know, we looked at some of that uh, that is being produced elsewhere. We looked at a piece of it. There's more than that. So they're that person. They're also the person that's leading the solicitation and editing of the original content we talked about. That comes from all of you alums that have stories to share, experiences to tell, and gatherings and events that you're doing that all of the alums or some piece of them that are relevant enough care to see and needs to be published on their website. And they're certainly the manager of the other editorial staff that assist in that. The secretary is responsible for managing communications between the alumni association and the website and everything else and everybody else, including especially all of the class authorized representatives. So those leaders from the class of 1960 or 1977 or 1992, all of the classes have authorized representatives that uh, typically they're reunion organizers. They would uh, have one person that they would communicate with principally with the secretary to the extent that information needs to flow from the alumni association to all of the classes through the authorized reps or the reverse direction, secretary manages that. The treasurer is responsible for overseeing the bookkeeper, making sure that um, auditing occurs and the books are in order and all that sort of thing. And they're also responsible for fund development. And the web administrator is that technical manager for the website, making sure it gets built properly and designed properly to meet the mission is maintained going forward. So of course, the website is the beginning of promoting and improving the connections that the alumni have with each other in their school. But it is the beginning of something that can be even much grander than that. And it's certainly just in the website itself, there's so much more that can be done. How many of you know that there's a Hall of Fame and 20 or so have been inducted into that Hall of Fame already? Do you know who they are? Where are their stories? There's all sorts of memorabilia down at the uh, Keith Gilbertson Sports and Fitness Center. So those stories need to be told. There could certainly be something really interesting done on the website about that. And there's all kinds of people associated with our sports teams and our clubs and boosters and family members and participants that have um, a desire to get information out there about them and want to share with you. And many of you would care about that. Certainly all of you past uh, drama club, drama people care about what's happening in the drama department. Certainly those people that are boosting that drama department would love to share that with the alums through the Alumni Association website. And membership itself. Someday there we could provide logins and maybe, for example, uh, in order to indicate preferences. So alums could say, I care more about uh, football or drama or DECA or whatever it is that you care most about you can indicate those preferences and maybe that could be filtered for you when you came to the website or promoted and pushed up to the top or maybe it could even be pushed to you through your email or however you wish it to be to learn about it so without having to come to the website and certainly the alumni association would have activities and events that promote and improve the connections that we have with each other and ultimately to the extent that those of you who are most passionate and care most about making things happen because it really means something to you and you want to leave a mark on our community, you'll come forward and the Alumni Association would assist you in achieving your vision, provide various services to all of our alums and our students at the high school. And finally, I, I list as a stretch goal relevance to our youngest alums. And I call that a stretch goal because it's always gonna be difficult. Our youngest alums are those who are most distracted, typically, have many, many things that uh, are interesting to them and maybe have, in general, the least amount of perspective as yet about the value of promoting and improving the connections that we have with each other because they have so much going on in their lives that are just right in front of them. So we do have to maintain relevance to our youngest alums and that will always be a stretch goal. And finally, the call to action. None of this will happen without our first president and vice president. That visionary leader with the passion to push this forward and to reach out. There are so many alums out there that I've talked to over the last two years that really, really want this to happen. One of them are going to be the ones that step forward be that first president or vice president. And somebody's gonna be that first editor or a staffer on the editorial or maybe 
it's going to be necessary to provide a stipend. We talked about how this website, to the extent that it's successful and is found to be valuable to the alums, they'll donate to the cause. Like I said, only 1%, providing a few bucks a year, generates a substantial sum. And adding in with what can be produced through the business community, where they see common value, and a uh, two-way street where they get something back, that's going to provide some revenue. Someone's going to be that first secretary, that strong communicator. Someone's going to be the first treasurer, someone who cares about developing those funds and making sure they're there to make this stuff happen and will work, can work with others to help. Them. And that first technical leader who will build the website, maintain the website to help it promote the mission of furthering our connections and improving our connections. And we need to build a seed fund. The Snowish Education Foundation, the website there, snowed.org, has a fund, the Snohomish High School Alumni Association Fund, that's being gathered to promote the beginning of this website and this um, association. They're not going to take any money from that. They're not taking any money out of that. 100% of the money going into there goes directly to the Alumni Association. If you want to follow up, I'm Michael Edwards. Give me a call. Send me an email. If you wondering why I'm not the president, since I clearly care about this, I'll have to tell you, I'm not an alum. I live here in Snohomish. I'm gonna die here in Snohomish. I love this town. I love Snohomish High School. It's a fantastic place to live. My kids went to school here, are going to school here. They grew up here. I love this place, but I'm not an alum. And the Snohomish Alumni Association has to be led by an alum. So, if this is worthy, one of you who are hearing me today will reach out. And I'll help you get started.